what if Ghana practiced absolute mona system? Mm -hmm. Absolute mona system is no longer a thing around the world because mm -hmm. there are very few countries who still practice absolute monarch system. And in the case of Ghana, for example, there are a lot of chiefs and kings. It's not just one king that is the only one in the country. I mean, you do have a situation whereby one particular king is really very powerful and has a lot of other kings or chiefs under him. Let us use Ashanti King as an example. Let's assume the whole of Ashanti region or the whole of Ashanti area. Let's assume that that is a country in this modern day world. And what is that going to look like in terms of advantages and disadvantages of having um, you know, Ashanti King as the absolute monarch? And what that really means in terms of advantages would be that, you know, patriotism for me patriotism is something that is lacking in africa in terms of you have you know the politicians who are just interested in you know enriching themselves and putting all the money and all the resources in their own pocket so when you have a monarch the monarch is like a traditional ruler who um tend to you know think about their people think about you know their subject as they call them like they just really want good things for them they want their quality of life to be improved and this is really evidenced in the middle east where you have um, a lot of the you know absolute monarch they are still concentrated a lot of majority of them are in the middle east where by you know even in some cases where they are not absolute monarch you see have you know the monarch they have you know a lot of influence in the policies and you know things that has to do with the country in terms of govern governance so in that sort of situation they just want to provide you know amenities they want to provide you know things that we really improve the country and that is really key in terms of you know patriotism another advantage is that a lot of money will be saved let's face the fact that you know this western democracy that we have in africa where you have the house of parliament and then you have all these you know politicians and you know senators and lower house hoppers and all of this whereby you know they spend a lot of money you you know on you know on politicians and the political system and not forgetting the fact that you know you have uh, a period whereby every four years you have to conduct election and a lot of money is spent on election you know i think you know a lot of money will be saved because you know absolute monarch system you're not really conducting any election so it's just the king that is just there and then when he, the king um passed away uh then you have you know the next person maybe the uh, you know the uh the son or the third daughter we then be the one that they get on the throne. So you're not really doing any uh, form of election. A lot of money will be saved uh, from that. Another benefit is that a lot of time will be saved in passing, you know, laws and, you know, policy making and all of those because, you know, if you having, you know, all this Western democracy whereby, you know, everybody needs to know about a particular law that needs to be made about a particular policy. Uh, so everybody needs to know about it. Sometimes you do some consultation and all of that but absolute monarchy is just the king that we just decide and we just decide whatever it says is just the final and in my local language uh, yoruba they say Ka bihaosi. so it simply means that nobody can question you so and that we means that you know when anything needs to be done it can be done quickly because it's just you know the king just said this is where we want it and then that's it and then it's going to be done Disadvantages though we be that you know sometimes there can be corruption going on because you know the king uh, even though there is that patriotism um, so which I mentioned earlier as advantage it can also be a disadvantage because um, advantage, disadvantage can come from the fact that you know the king we have is um, you know family so the cousins you know the um, you know people that are nephew nieces who are part of the royal family 
family they also will be occupying you know key positions whereby you know some of them might not necessarily be competent in what they are doing and then it might just end up to be you know um, you know mismanagement of funds and corruption might be going on so and because you know they are the ones that are in charge of making the laws and everything it might really be difficult um, you know and that is a disadvantage and another disadvantage might just be the fact that you know you can't really have freedom of speech because you know if you are um, you know if you say something against the king then you are in trouble absolutely monarch system tend to have that situation whereby you know you can't really say anything against the king so and that you know freedom of speech for you to be able to question you know what they are doing it might just really be a problem and that is a, a disadvantage obviously there will be more advantages and disadvantages associated with absolute monarch system what are those disadvantages and advantages that i haven't mentioned please leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know about it so that all of us can learn thanks for watching and god bless